John, you did it again. It was just a fantastic speech. And in the light of uh, the sports world today, you knocked it out of the park. <laughs> and I think, as probably all of us think, that doing an interpretive reading is one of the hardest things to do because you're trying to give the message from somebody else, not your own message. And you, first of all, chose a marvelous selection. And I um, felt like I was in the boat and experiencing all the danger and the wonderful experience of those people and the bravery of those people. And um, I appreciate uh, that you uh, did that. Um, we talked yesterday and uh, interesting enough, uh, I'm planning on going to the Grand Canyon this uh, summer. So I said, I can hardly wait for this speech. Mm -hmm. And you didn't disappoint me. I'm very, very anxious to go. I can tell you that I won't go in a boat like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I did a little research, and I found out that they do have motorized rafts. And I think I will uh, choose that. Um, you asked me to uh, look at, uh, to talk about three things, or to uh, observe three things, three things, and one was your temple, and I thought it was excellent. Your stopping, your starting, your hesitation, <coughs> your look away, uh, bringing us all in, uh, was outstanding. The other thing you, uh, another thing you said was your voice variation. And again, I thought you did nice there. You got excited, you were enthusiastic, when it was danger, you kind of pulled back, you held yourself back. So nice variation, in fact, more than nice, excellent. And then uh, you also talked about your eye contact, and I felt, again, we were all pulled into uh, your marvelous speech. Uh, one of the things that I, I might say that uh, uh, might have made it an even stronger speech, if that's possible, was that you might have had Carolyn give more of an introduction on the setting. And you just started, and we quickly figured out what you were talking about, but if you would have talked a little bit more about the Grand Canyon and this amazing accomplishment in 1983, um, it might have pulled us in even quicker. But thank you very much, and I look forward to my Grand Canyon trip because of you. Thank you.